Hi guys, in this video we are going to do something different. We are going to create this image, this consistent image using SDXL, using Comfy UI and we are going to try to create this AI influencer. Now you can see these images are really consistent. The face is really consistent. It looks like the same person and you can see all the images has been created using a workflow which I'm really excited to show you. You can create your own AI influencers. So let's get started. If you have never heard of any of the technologies that I'm I'm going to mention in this video fear not i will go through each and every step in its simplest form so let's get started one use case is this once you have those images you can go ahead and open a new account in the name of the ai influencer and i posted a couple of photos here and you can see that uh, already in like two days i have about eight followers and you can create your own interesting spicy ai influencers if you know what i mean but in this video we're going to go ahead and see how it's done so the first thing that we need to understand is this comfy.org this is an open source platform which you can use to make interesting things for example if you have a text prompt here you put in through a case sampler and a vae decoder and then you get this image so this is kind of an n8n type of workflow where we can connect different elements and you can make your images you can make your videos and whatnot so this is one tool that we're going to use another is we need a gpu of course you can download this on your own system but again the models that we are going to use those models are pretty huge for example this model that we're going to use is analog madness as the excel realistic model this is about 6.4 gb and you have other models as well so if you go to this website civit ai and you go to this realistic model search for realistic model and take any realistic model that you can use so you can see these examples these are pretty great so we're going to use this model which is the checkpoint basically it's based on sdxl 1.0 and it's a checkpoint which means it has been fine-tuned and a version of that has been saved here we are also going to use a consistent woman so this woman 877 is a laura basically so laura is low rank adaptation it has been further fine-tuned for this character so it is fine-tuned on certain keywords uh, we need to use those keywords religiously if we use those keywords then this image this lady will appear so the keywords for example here is this part Laura woman 877 woman 877 25 year old French woman light beige uh, skin with natural freckles so all these parts this is basically the Laura part so we need to put this to get this consistent uh, face structure of this model and then uh, in the prompt uh, pre so to that we can put your own thing that it's doing so as a lady standing on a satin olive green blouse and you can see this is another example uh, which shows that it's sitting on steps that turn to the right a cheerful big smile and you can see all these examples so these two are the models that we are going to use the first is this one this is a checkpoint a merge checkpoint this is and this is the laura which means it will give you the exact face person that you are trying to make let's get started you're already ahead in understanding all these so we have comfy ui we have civet ai where we get the models and the laura and first and foremost what you need to do is to download this so we download this a 6.46 gb file we download the laura as well so once we download that we can upload it to the gpus that we will be working on but what i've done is i put it on my drive so if you go to my drive uh, this is one uh safe tensor file which is the model and another one is this one which is the laura model and then what i've done is i have taken the link of this so i can copy this link so if you need you can use this i've kept it open so you can go ahead and download this and this i'll paste the link in the description section you can download this from here or you can just go ahead and download from here as well but you need to put it in a google drive or an amazon s3 bucket because we need to upload those later and you will see those in the later section of the video so let's get started having that we need a gpu the best is runpod so you can go to this link get.runpod.io slash pe48 and when you go for the first time that's a pretty interesting offer if you just recharge with ten dollars you will be able to get five to five hundred dollars of bonus and i've seen most of the people get five dollars but again i've seen people getting hundred dollars and fifty dollars now and then so go ahead and claim this bonus this is going to end soon so go ahead and claim once you have that once you log into runpod you will have an interface like this so you can see that uh, i have my balance here this is the home and you can see that uh, i've been testing this out uh, this is an interesting gpu really a stable gpu 
GPU and uh, if you go to this pod section you can see different GPUs uh, price starts from you know on the higher side you can see $5.49 per hour which is 180 GB VRAM and you can go as low as $0.25 per hour which is a 16 GB GPU uh, in this video we're gonna use uh, this one like an L4 which is about 48 GB uh, GPU so we're gonna use that or we can use this as well which is a 48 GB GPU so we are going to go ahead so I'm waiting please go ahead and register and sign in uh, to run pods add some balance and then we are going to go ahead I'm waiting please go ahead to this link here is a little crash course on run pod as well so you've seen that uh, we have these pods available so there are different gpus that you can use we can go for serverless as well so as you can see i have some of the serverless things which are running which means uh, this will not work but whenever you call them then the gpu will get activated which means it's really amazing little costlier but whenever it is idle it costs me zero but whenever there is traffic demand it scales automatically then we have this instant clusters as well you can go ahead and create uh, instant clusters which has multi gpu functionalities you can go ahead and go to this public endpoints as well so here for example we have these endpoints that you can use directly if you want to use WAN 2.5 you can go ahead and use this endpoint so there are different interesting endpoints that you can use now for our example for this exercise uh, we are going to go to this pod template and we want a pod here so the template that we want is one click this one one click install comfy ui sdxl so this is a template that you want this is a hear me man comfy ui template just click this now this is a template uh this is basically a comfy ui template and it will really be easy for you to use this so just click on configure pod here and once you are there we need to select a gpu or as talked about earlier i'm going to use a 40 gb gpu a40 which will cost me about 0.4 dollars per hour it's really amazing we can edit this template and here i'm going to increase the container disk to 200 and this volume disk to 200 and i can go down go to this environment variables we really don't need these environment variables i'm going to just remove all these environment variables so we have this public uh, template here and i can just click on that overrides go down and then you will be able to deploy on demand so just click this this will take you to the uh, deployment page where it's being deployed and you can see the details you can go ahead and you can click on uh, the pod here and you can go ahead to this log section where you can see that this template which is the comfy ui uh, is being downloaded it will just take a few seconds or a minute or two and then we are going to get started one more interesting thing is if you want to run this for a long duration you can use and create the savings plan this will give you some benefit of running for a long time and i think our pod is ready uh yeah i can go to connect here and uh, you can see on the connect tab there are two things first is the port 8188 which is the comfy ui it's not yet ready once it is ready you're going to click on this comfy ui link and we are going to be diverted to that link we have jupyter lab as well in the 8888 port and you can go ahead and we need to open a jupyter lab as well so you can see that we have two ready here so you can just click on the jupyter lab first this will open up the Jupyter Notebook, right? We have the Jupyter Notebook here. So you can click on this terminal here and you can do the necessary things, which we will do in just a second. Next, we can go to this link, which is the Comfy UI link. Just click on the link. So you can see that this is our Comfy UI and you can just close this and it's really amazing this is our workflow but let's go to the jupyter lab first and then you can see that in the terminal if you write pwd which is the present working directory we have this we go to workspace and you can see the list of folders that we have so we have this comfy ui folder you can go inside of comfy ui folder and you can see the list of folders that i have so we have all these folders i need to go to models uh, this folder and once i go to models and check the list of folders we have have all these folders here now the important folder that we really want is this checkpoint and uh, the loras folder so these two folders are really important you can go ahead to the checkpoint and see inside uh, we have nothing here uh, we need to put our model here so the models that we talked about this model which is the checkpoint model the downloaded safe tensor file uh, we need the link of that safe tensor file so if you share this and you can just copy the link 
so you can see that uh this is the link that is visible and this is the id of that link so we need this id if i take this id uh, separately here actually the command that we are going to use is this g down we need to do pip install g down if it's not available here if you go to jupyter i say pip install g down but i guess that will be available that is already installed so now what you can do is g down and the link the g drive so the actual id is this one so we need to put the id here so we can put this id till here and we want to save the file with this name which is analog madness sdxl x13 save tensor i'm going to copy this command i will put this command in the description but if we take this command and run this inside the checkpoint folder this will download the analog madness as the excel uh, to the checkpoint folder next we go to another terminal and uh, another folder that i was talking about is the doras folder so i can go to cd or i can go ahead from here as well and go directly to uh, models here and then you can, can go to loras here and just copy the path here and cd to that path basically i can say cd workspace and that path so pwd so you're inside the loras folder laura folder mail so the next file which is the uh, laura file is this one woman so we take share this and we take this or copy this link and we check out this link so it's the same thing this is the link we need the id here basically so we take this id and basically uh, we need to run this command so g down and we're saving this as woman.safe tensor here so i'm going to go to jupyter lab and just paste this g down and this is going to download the 228 mb file to the loras folder and i can see the earlier one uh, which is the model has been downloaded in the checkpoints folder which is a 6.94 gb file so once this is done uh, the model and the loras have been installed or downloaded and put it in the appropriate checkpoint folder and the lora folder then we go to this workflow and we need to make a workflow so as to create our beautiful consistent images now we can go ahead and cre really create our own but i'm going to give you this json file which will which has all the configurations pre-made and and really what we need to do is to just link up different components here so the first is this load checkpoint and you can see that here we have the model here so which is the same checkpoint model that we've used and from the clip we go to this clip text encode this is the positive prompt that we need to put so we want some images we want this and this is a negative prompt because this is what we don't want so this negative thing it goes to the k sampler here on the negative one this positive thing goes to the positive one and then we have this model it goes through the lora and and then it goes to the case sampler so you can see that this model goes to this model here and from here it goes to the case sampler here next we see that we have this clip this clip goes to here this clip goes to here and this clip goes to this lora model as well now in the lora model we need to select the safe tensor file that we have seen so this is the safe tensor file we need to put a strength of 0.6 which means how much uh linking do you want uh from the lora in other words how much consistent image do you want if you put it more consistent then there will be not much following of the prompts and not much variation that you can do so it's really need to we really need to optimize the strength of the lora that we want the next one is this empty latent space so if you want to add one node you can just right click and add node and you will get all these nodes there's so many things to play with we have this empty latent space and the width that you're putting is 1024 the height that you're putting is 1536 which means a portrait image here batch size 2 which means two generations will come and then we pass all these uh, through the k sampler we are going to put a fixed seed if you want a fixed sort of output then you're going to put this fixed we're going to put steps of 60 the cfg of 4 and the sampler name is this scheduler is dd i am uniform and denoise is captain 1 it passed through the VAE decode which will decode the image and you will get the save and the final image here so let's run this let's look at the command that you're putting so the first thing that we need to mention is this part this is basically consistency part if you want the same model that we have seen here this model then this are the things that are must that we need to put here and before that we can put anything that we want uh supposing beside a bright yellow supercar you can say red or green maybe 
green supercar at night, reflections dancing on curbs, and extensive fashion attitude. And you can see this uh, negative prompts that you can see all those things that we don't want. So you can just run this. Running this, you can see that uh, the the boundary has been highlighted with green. So uh, this is the one which is running now so it's loading the checkpoint here so you can click on this queue as well you can see that it's running so it's loading for the first time it's taking the positive and negative prompts it's in the k sampler and then it's processing two images because we say uh, batch size is two so you can see that we have two images here so if you go to this queue uh, and click on this two you can see those uh, you can see these two images just click on the image and you can see the quality it's really amazing you can see on this this image it's really amazing so green car let's go ahead and change this uh to red car the new uh, two images so this is image one and you can see the other image image two it's really interesting to see that the faces are quite consistent it looks like the same person here this is how you do it now you can go to run pod and see uh, that the gpu is being used you can see other details as if you go to telemetry you can see the uptime the different processes the memory usage and the cpu usage and everything is available on the run pod itself now you can let this comfy ui running and you can even send http requests to this endpoint and you can generate your images as well for example if you go to workspace here and you can export this as api you can export this json file uh, let's say workflow5.json and if you just save it and if you open the json file you can see that we have all these nodes in the json format so you can send a request in this api format and you will get the output as mentioned here but that's uh, up for another video in which i will show you how to automate all this and then you can automate the process of uploading on instagram as well so that is for a separate video most important thing is to shut this down so you click on this three arrow and then say stop pod stop pod and then go again to the three dots here and say terminate pod and terminate this pod otherwise you know the cost keeps incurring and it's really difficult but in this video what you have learned is you have learned about comfy ui there is a ui which can help you plug and play with different things with different nodes we have different checkpoints which you can use the things that has been uh, made by other people we have lauras that will give you consistent face of this particular person here you can check out other lauras as well that will be helpful if you want a particular different kind of models you can create your own lauras as well but that will be for a different video if you learn about comfy ui you learn about run pod this is interesting gpu go ahead to this link and sign up it's really amazing check this out and if you have any problems feel free ping me on the comment section and at this point of time there is one more thing that a lot of my viewers ask is how do i collect payments uh, from a third party or from the projects well the first and the foremost form of collection of payment is uh, from paypal but this charge charges about three to five percent uh, from the payment the next one that i use is pioneer uh, which will give you accounts from different countries for example us account europe australia so this is the second one and another one that i use is this skydo which is again they will give you accounts from different countries and the charges are pretty good so you can see that after 2000 uh, you get this 19 dollars you need to pay this 19 dollars up to ten thousand dollars you just need to pay a 29 dollars while in the case of paypal considering five percent we need uh, to pay about five hundred dollars that that so that reduces the cost to a huge extent now i paste in the links for all these you can go ahead and check this out well affiliate links but again i'm really using the service and has been really amazing go ahead and test out all these uh, examples that i've shown you download the image make an instagram profile get famous and whatnot so i'll see you another one and i hope you test this out have a nice day